Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 545. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. In this video, last video, we saw how to uh, do conditional formatting for a row with these three criteria. Here we want to count. We have to count in this, we have to find all the dates in this column that begin at 312 and at uh, 324 and then go over to this column and count all the A's. We'll see three different methods and see the difference between each one of those. Count ifs, that's new in 2007, and it will be the fastest calculating of all of these count ifs. It's a great function. It even has a screen tip, unlike sum if and count if in earlier versions that they had screen tips that were confusing. It just says, hey, criteria range, and then criteria one, and it will say two, etc. Now, Criteria range one is the dates. Control Shift Down Arrow F4, and that's the criteria. Then we hit uh, the criteria range, and then comma the criteria. Now we need greater than or equal to this, and it we have to put this in quotes. The comparative operator is going to go in quotes for count if greater than or equal to. Uh, these dates are inclusive, so both of these days will be included. And then the join symbol, and then you click on the cell. That way you can type in dates here, right? And the conditional formatting can be working on real numbers. And then down in count if, this is a real number uh, that we joined with a comparative operator. Comma, the criteria range 2, I'm going to control V, same date range, comma. And then we have, instead of greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, ampersand this. And then finally, comma, there is a criteria range 3, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, and the criteria 3 is simply that, close parentheses. Control enter. So we get 5. D count and sum product are alternatives that work in earlier versions. D count only works when you have a single cell and you have field names and criteria in cells. Uh, D count is awesome and it is uh, usually faster than sum product, but most of the time when you're copying formulas, D count won't work. But man, here it's perfect. D count. Oh, uh, D count a, uh, because we're going to. Um, we're not counting numbers here. Count a, uh, d count a. Uh. The database, it just needs this. Control right arrow, control down arrow. Comma, the field that it's counting. That's why these are letters, so we need um, count a. Uh. I'm going to click right there. You could type it in if you want, but I. You, I'm not going to do that. And then the criteria, this is where you got to have the field names and the criteria below. And criteria goes on the same line or criteria goes on different lines. And look, we had to list the field name twice because we're doing date criteria. All right, uh, enter. Some product. It will be similar to this. We'll have the range, the comparative operator, and the cell, except for with count if you separate it all out. With some product, we're going to string it all together. Equals some product. And we're going to have to, we're going to have the same, like three ranges of criteria up here. We have three arrays, and these arrays will be filled with trues and falses, and we need to convert them to ones and zeros. So we're going to do a double negative to convert inside of parentheses. We'll say Control Shift Down Arrow F4 when that is greater than or equal to the begin date. Close parentheses. I'm going to get this right here. Copy. That's the first array. Comma. Control V. Double negative. Open parentheses when that's less than or equal to this one. Close parentheses. Comma. Double negative. Open parentheses. Control Shift Down Arrow when that's equal to R A. Close parentheses on the third array. Close parentheses on the sum product and enter. So now, if we change our criteria, matched with what we saw in uh, 544, we have our conditional criteria and our counting going on here. Um, how about C? Are there even any records? Oh, I guess there are three records between those dates. All right, uh, counting between dates, fun with uh, some different functions. See you next trick.